Well, for months now, generation after generation has lined up to get their shot. The eligible age going down as supply has gone up. But most recently, Health Canada authorized the Pfizer-BioNTech shot for anyone 12 and up, a move the National Advisory Council on Immunization supported this week. Massey recommends that a complete series of two doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine can be offered to individuals 12 to 18 years of age. Since then, just look at the lines. They're starting to look a little different, huh? As younger and younger Canadians are able to book their appointments and get their shot at returning to some kind of normal. So let's hear from two young Canadians who both got vaccinated this week. Simran Jacob is 14. She joins us from Toronto. And Sylvia Leon Ray is 11, turning 12 in July. So she was able to get the shot as well. She's in Edmonton. Hello. Uh, thank you both for joining me. Thanks. Okay. So, so we're going to start real simple. Just, just like one word. Uh, Simran, if you, if you could choose one word to describe how you have felt during this pandemic, what would it be? Stressed. Stressed. Okay, yeah, I can, I can uh, relate to that. Sylvia, one word? Lonely. Lonely. Okay, let's, let's use a few more words. Uh, Sylvia, why lonely? Well, lonely because the only time I could see my friends, well, see my friends was like texting and, you know, like Google Meets during this pandemic. And even once we came back to school, like face to face, we had to wear our masks and we had to social distance. Yeah, and, and you just always have to yeah, maintain that space. And you, you don't really feel like you're, you're hanging out with your friends, even when you're hanging out with your friends. I, I totally get that. Simran, uh, you said stressed. What, what stresses out a 14 year old? I feel like the pandemic has really taken a toll on everybody's mental health. But not only that, I am in grade eight and I'm going to high school next year. So online school plus preparations for high school, it gets pretty stressful um, a lot of the time. So Simran, how, how badly did you want to get the shot? I wanted to get it pretty badly. I'm very excited for the pandemic to go away completely. We've been doing this for over a year. We've been in lockdown for over a year. It's after that amount of time, something like this, it, you get tired of it very easily. So when I'm hoping that everything goes back to normal and now that people, younger people are able to get the shots, there is more of a chance of that happening um, sooner rather than later. Sylvia, I, I, I'm curious to hear from you how your friends and you feel about getting the shot. I mean, is anyone nervous about getting the shot? Um, I think everybody's at least a little nervous when, like, walking up to the line, um, to, like, the little cubicle and getting the sh shot from the nurse. And, well, I am pretty happy that I got the vaccine, and I've been waiting to get it, like, as soon as the news broke out that I could get it. And um, I think my friends feel the same way. And tell me, Sylvia, what that moment was like. I mean, I, you know, I know no one likes needles and it, and it always hurts a little bit when it goes in, but I don't know, what was going through your head when you were getting that shot and maybe a little bit after you got the shot? Um, so like the nurse first like asked me about school and I said, like, so I started explaining to her, and then I just felt, like, a sharp pain. She, like, distracted me before getting the needle. I'm not great with needles, but I can pull through when the moment and, happens. And does it feel like there's kind of this weight lifted off your shoulder that, that you're getting, I don't know, kind of, like, one step closer to, to getting back to normal? Yes, definitely. Because what's the thing you're looking most forward to? I'm looking forward to being able to hug all my friends again, to be able to go outside without being stricken with anxiety, like, and worrying if I'm going to get, like, 
the coronavirus and like if I'm going to get a variant and would I pass it on to my friends and family and those who I host hold close to my heart. Simran, I, I have time for one more question for you. I'm curious, you, you know, once you get the vaccine, it's not like everything changes suddenly, right? You still have to physical distance, you still have to do all the public health measures. But you tell me, I mean, what, what feels different now? What changes for you? Just um, knowing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We're getting closer to the end with every vaccine, every dose delivered to different people. And we're going to eventually get there, no matter how long it takes. I'm just very hopeful and very excited for that. Simran and Sylvia, uh, you guys are both so smart. Uh, so thoughtful, so kind uh, and generous for sharing your stories with us. Thank you so much for taking this time to talk with us. I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Cheers.